Oh, hey, hello there. I didn't see you sitting there. How's it going? My name is Sergeant Witty John, and welcome to Storytime with the BBPD. Today I brought one of my favorite books, and believe me, I can relate. It is Giraffes Can't Dance. Did you know that? <laughs> so, I want to tell you about Gerald. All right? Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully crooked, and his legs were rather thin. He looked just like me. <laughs> he was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they told the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. He was just like me. <laughs> the war hog started waltzing, and the rhinos rocking and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Terrifying, isn't it? He looked at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clear. And he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket. Who'd seen Gerald earlier on? But sometimes, when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swinging. Listen to the swinging grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled. The cricket picked up his violin, then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles onto the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did the backward somersault and leapt up in the air. just like me. <laughs> Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. 
they shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Joe was the best dancer that I've ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Joe, tell us how. But Joe simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we found the music that we love. Awesome, Gerald.